Hello again you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be having another handheld system review and it's of this little beauty in front of you here. Doesn't the box look lovely? Shall we take a look at the box? All over. There's a front. Very impressive isn't it? <clears throat> Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Portable Game Player. Featuring 80 built-in games. 25th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog. There we have Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat 3 on here. And obviously some more games here. Sonic 3D and so on and Sonic 1 and 2, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Spinball. Absolutely stunning box. It's a lovely, lovely box. Some more there. Gubbins on the side here. And this side tells you about how it's got a rechargeable battery built into it, which is fantastic. No having to put in um, bought batteries. Internet games download feature via an SD card. Because, yes, interestingly, this does take an SD card. We'll talk about that a bit more later. There's your. Uh, your buttons and what they do and again ultimate portable game player it contains 36 Sega Mega Drive games 3 Mortal Kombat games and 41 bonus games mm. there we are the other side Pack includes game player, instruction manual, USB charging cable and rechargeable battery. There's all your different languages. Yeah, and there's the back with the contents of 80 games there. If you want to have a look at all those, please just feel free to pause and look. Now, have you noticed something with this uh, stunning box here. There's something missing isn't there? Mm. Yeah there's something missing all right because not once does it mention on this bloody box that it's made by Act Games. Yeah I'm very sorry to say this is an Act Games product and I can assure you the only place they tell you this is how embarrassed they are of themselves do they mention at all that it's made by them? It's here on the instruction manual. Yep, yeah, we see it there. Dun dun dun. Oh, what's so terrible about that, you say? Oh, I can assure you. It's terrible, and you're about to find out why. But on a lighter note, it does take an SD card. And yes, you can put on games that you have downloaded off the internet. The only trouble is that they have to be in a certain format. I'm not sure which way around it was now, whether it was they have to be in bin files or they have to be uh, SMD. I'm not too sure. So whatever way around it is, you download them. Usually they come in the opposite and you have to rename the file extension at the end. So a bit of work to be done on that. But yeah. Once you've got them, you know, named, renamed properly, they, they do play. And you can play just about every single Mega Drive game. There's been very few that you uh, you can't boot on this. I mean, I don't actually do that anymore with this one because I've got so many machines that do it anyway. There's no point. I just have this as part of my collection, really, and you're going to find out why I don't use it soon. Right. Well, as you heard with the contents, you don't get much in the box. Um, the manual, the machine, and you did get a, a, a cable, but um, obviously I've taken that out already. So yeah, what are we going to do now? Dear God help me, we're going to take a look at the games. Back in a moment. Just had to make sure that it was uh, charged and everything, which it is. And um, yeah, shall we take a look at this fantastic instruction book first, I suppose. Um, it's your usual thing. Hard games. Um, yeah, just your usual 
crap in there really. You know, you'd have to be pretty freaking stupid not to uh, to know. So yeah, put that over there. Push that over there. And here we are. Let's take a look at the machine first. You know what? When you hold it in your hand, a bit like the box, it's lovely. Got a lovely weight to it. Buttons, a bit of travel there, but not bad at all. Nice and clicky. Yep, lovely. Directional pad. I wouldn't really wish on my worst enemy. Speaker there. Power indicator there. Obviously start and select. Up here we have volume wheel. Which is nice to have a wheel actually for a change. Your SD slot. Hmm. It's a lovely thing to have, I must admit. There's your charging port, which is a mini B. Headphone jack. And a light. Hmm. Yes. So why do we have two lights? I cannot bloody remember. Oh, that's your battery light. And that must be just telling you that your power's on. I don't know. Weird. <coughs> yep, on the back. Just your battery compartment. Obviously, it's a built-in battery. So you shouldn't have to go in there too often. And, yeah. Bottom. TV out. Oh, no, that's your headphone jack. See? Warts and all videos again. This is your headphone jack. In that case... That little bugger up here is your uh, TV out because you can, you know, if you buy the purchase separately cable, um, you can plug it into the TV. Why you'd want to do that, I do not fucking know, but there you go. <coughs> right, yeah, so that's about it, really. Yeah. So I think it's time for the horror. Oh, yes. Let's take a look at the OS first, shall we? And this is where you're going to realise this is a Nat Games product by the lovely, lovely, lovely logo there, Nat Games, and of course the dreaded Firecore OS. If you did have a SD card inserted into this little bugger, you would have a, another section there where you could scroll over to load those ROMs up. But as I said, I don't use this for that. I did used to. And I must admit, they do play quite well. But you know what I'm going to do? Like lots of people who've reviewed this unit have done, I'm going to show you something to do with Sonic the Hedgehog. You might want to go and dig out your uh, earplugs. Oh dear. Let's find it, shall we? Oh, didn't that sound lovely? Ping, 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 ping. Oh, of course, you have to go like that. Silly arse. Oh, here we go. Right, there's no putting it off. Are you ready for this? Okie dokie, then. Let's do it. Oh, okay, maybe we won't, then. Hmm, see, there's your SD card bit there. Okay, well, everything's going peak tongue again at the moment. I'm sure we'll sort it. Let's see, shall we? Hmm. Yes, let's try again. Hmm. Why are you being awkward? Ah, there we go. Got there in the end. Oh, did you hear that already? Oh, you can so see why he's shaking his fingers, haven't you? Fucking heard that. Oh, dear God. Here we go. Yeah, as you can see, it does not sound good. One little bit. That is ear blisteringly, bleeding, awful. Controls bloody well, right? And in all fairness, there does not seem to be too much um, lag. Certainly not in this game, anyway. 
Let's uh, clean that down a bit. Because that is just, I, I can't bear it anymore, so I'll have to turn it down a bit. Anyway. And you know what the worst thing is? It's not just this game where it does it. It does it on most of them. They're all distorted. Why that game? This can't get their bloody finger out and get the sound right in all their machines. I do not know. It is unbloody believable. So yeah. As you can see, it plays pretty well. It doesn't seem to be any lag to it. But that sound. And if you had headphones in, Jesus Christ. You'd never do it again, would you? No, put bloody headphones in again, would you? Hmm? No, you would not. Oh yeah, dearie, dearie, dearie me, let's just come out. Right, okay. So yeah. You can see the slight problem here. We are going to have a look at some more games, but <clears throat> I don't know if you cast your mind back to one of my previous videos where I took a look at the Go Retro. Um, yeah, this suffers from the same problem. As they said on the back of the box, you know, you got so many licensed Sega games and Mortal Kombat and all that gubbins. Um, yeah, but then you also have all that filler. Just like on the Go Retro, you got all that filler. The only trouble is with the Go Retro, the uh, the Data East games and Capcom and what have you were bloody good games and they played absolutely fantastic. On this, the licensed Sega ones play like a pile of shit. Well, the music certainly does. The the gameplay is not too bad. Um, but it's putting up with that. That oh, if you, well, if you can play the game without any sound, then you you're absolutely fine here. But yeah, this suffers from the same bloody thing as that does. It's got a load of shit on it, as well as the licensed games, which sound atrocious. Okay, right. I'm going to have a quick vape, because I think I bloody need it before I get back into this. So, back in a minute. <clears throat> One good vape later, and I'm ready and paused. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at another one. That, you know, the sound is pretty bloody iconic. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can find, shall we? Shall we try Golden Axe, shall we? That's a pretty iconic soundtrack, isn't it? Let's see what this one plays like, shall we? It actually lets me get in there. Let's see. Okay. No, this doesn't sound too bad at the moment, does it? Let's see how we get on. Mm, yeah, it's just not right, is it? But it's certainly better than Bloody Sonic was. Hmm. I tell you what, you know, even this. God awful D pad actually works pretty well, it just feels like shit. But it, it works well. You know the the button layout is not bad at all. You can get to everything nicely and it you know has a good response. Yeah, I can't, I can't really fault it with those buttons. Oh it's just a bloody atrocious soundtrack again. It's just not right. So if you could hear the original, if I, if I was doing a comparison though you'd see exactly what I mean. It's like a world of difference. Here's me playing badly again. Oh dear. Come here, come here, you little fucker. Oh, you, oh, you stop, you little bastard. Oh, you little sod. Oh, there we go, I got one. Can I get you again, you little sod? Uh, yeah, little, you know, little pixie, whatever the hell you are. Oh, oh at least I got two. Usually you don't get anything. Oh, there's that. That's a real thing. Like a dinosaur or something, isn't it? I think, oh, who knows. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, 
Mm. So, yeah, as you can see, you know, the controls are good, plays well. Awful soundtrack. Not as bad as Sonic. Yeah. That was that. <coughs> right, let's have a look at another. Uh, one that I can show you. Oh, I know what would. Uh, let's have a look. We want a Streets of Rage, don't we? We need a Streets of, streets of Rage moment, I think. Let's see, shall we? Have we got any on here, though? See, I thought we did. In fact, I could have sworn we had Streets of Rage on here somewhere. Hmm, obviously nothing. There's all your S's. Hmm. Okay, then. Yeah, we're not going there yet. <coughs> Let's try. Oh yeah, chicken. Oh yeah. I'll try this one. Another pretty iconic game, there. Eh? That, that sounds absolutely atrocious as well right now. <coughs> hasn't even started playing properly yet and it sounds bloody awful. You know, I remember playing this the very first time on the Amiga. Which was uh, terrific, you know, brilliant. Seem very responsive at the moment. This could just be this game, of course. Seems to be having a bit of a lag here. Oh, there we go, this is what I'm here now. That's the portal. Hmm. Yeah, you know, bad again. Oh, oh, you swine. Oh dear. Yeah, you know, you know, bad again. Oh, I'll have to go through here of course, don't I? Yes, I do. <clears throat> oh, yeah, plays well enough. A little bit of lag, I think, but the sound is obviously once again atrocious. Right, okay. Right, let's take a look at uh, another classic. Let's see what the sound sounds like on columns, shall we? There we go. Another classic, everybody knows columns. Let's see what this sounds like. Hmm. Yeah, there's something a little missing, but it's, it sounds pretty close, I must say. Not too bad. Here we go. One thing it has got this little machine is a nice screen, you know, it's nice and bright. Not too bad on the older tilt. 
Yeah, not too bad at all, actually, on the old tail too. You know what, the sound again is not perfect, but it's not, not terrible on this one. But it does seem to be a bit of a mixed bag, doesn't it? And when you've got classics, you know, like the mascot of Sega with Sonic. But good beyond belief with the sound. It's unforgivable, isn't it? It's just unforgivable. And they've been making these bloody things long enough, you know, in different guises. I should have learned by now. I mean, this this one has actually been on the market for quite some time. Um, at least four years or so, if not longer. But they still sell it, and it's still got the bloody fire pole on there, and it still plays like shit, the music. Um, it's also been rebranded. Um, the actual exact same unit has been rebranded by Retrospec or something, I think they're called a Retrospective or something like that, I don't know. Um, and was uh, brought out as a Game Boy player. You can't even, you know, it takes a long, long time to work out how to save the bloody games on that one. But it's certainly, you know, a better version to have used this uh, device for. Oh, I think it's called a Retro 32 or something, the, uh, the Game Boy version of this. <clears throat> Something along that line, anyway. So how they managed to get their hands on that, I do not know. Because uh, at games, obviously, they're still manufacturing them, and uh, you wouldn't have thought they would just hand over the, uh, the pattern to it, would you? So they obviously don't bloody own it, do they? It's obviously a Chinese-made thing that they're using. Oh, there we go. Should we, just, should we just die? There we go. Right. So anyway, yeah, um, columns. I'll tell you what. This sounds pretty pretty good, doesn't it? Not too bad. You can you can hear there's some elements missing there. If you had a comparison again, you'd notice, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, it plays well. So it is a bit of a mixed bag. Now, shall we have a look at one more of these better ones, shall we? Maybe have a look at Altered Beast. That's one of my all-time old favourites. Yeah, shall we have a look at that one? And then maybe move on to the... Um, Extra Games. Yeah, let's do that. Come on in. <clears throat> I used to love this game. It's a very dated now, of course, but I loved it at the time. Come on, yeah. Here we go. It was incredible to actually hear someone speak at the time, wasn't it? Again, sounds not, not bad, you know, not too far off. But it's not perfect by a long, long, long shot. Now you may ask yourself, if I was to load the ROMs from the internet onto an SD card, I bet they play better, don't they? Or at least the sound's better. Um, do you know what? I can't remember. I don't think there's a lot in it. I think you, uh, you still have the same problems. To be fair, because it's obviously, uh, you know, it's uh, it's an emulator at the end of the day, rather than a uh, a console clone. And yeah, uh, I think the emulation on here is just absolutely bad, really, for sound. And um, gameplay, obviously, absolutely fine, but for sound, it's it's just not right, is it? And I think you'll find. That it has the same problems with Sonic and so on. The games, like, you know, it has these terrible uh, audio faults. It still has them on the ROMs as well. 
Right, that's enough of them and just dying there. Right. So what we're going to do. <coughs> oh, seriously, I do need to have a good vape through this one. This, this, this is. Uh, yeah. We'll be back in a minute and we're going to take a look at some of those extra games. Scare you in a minute. You know, I was having a little chuckle to myself. I was thinking, please, please, don't have Wonder Rabbit on here. You know, the Wonder Kangaroo. Yeah, let's hope that bloody thing's not on here anywhere. I should think not. I hope. Right, so we're going to move over from Fantasy Star and all that stuff. Vector Man and whatever. You see, there's some bloody good titles on here. There really is. And then you get to this. You get to this bit. Oh dear, that is definitely Cross the Road. I presume that's Frogger. <coughs> oh, hmm. The poor man's Frogger, shall we call it? Shall we take a look at that one? Oh, go on then, let's, let's, let's do it then. Cross the Road. I'm a ripoff. Yes, there we go. Instead of a frog, it's a kid. Oh, and he doesn't want to move, it would seem. Oh my god, he don't even use a directional pad. Oh, sweet Jesus, please, why? Oh, uh, well, you can, you can move sideways with the directional pad. Hmm, how oh, very interesting. But you can't move up and down. Okay. This is very surreal, has to be said. Oh, right, okay, I'm supposed to go to a different bit. Right, okay. Over here, then, yeah. I wonder what happens when you actually get hit by a car. <clears throat> right, so this little shit has to go over here, then, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, to this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I got hit by one. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Ooh, I win. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that fascinating? Hmm. I'll try again. See, you know what? I'm going to get hit by a car. Just see what happens. Oh, skull and crossbow. Hmm. Crossbow and see. I like this track. Hmm. Seems to be remarkably easy. <coughs> bit too easy. Oh, oh look, I'm standing up. Oh, did you see that? I was actually riding on the bonnet of a car. How funny. Bloody miraculous. I wonder if that would happen again. Probably not. Right, okay, that's enough of that. I think we all know Frogger, don't we? And that was a very, very poor man's version of it. What I don't like is, have you noticed, it takes you right back to the beginning of the bloody alphabet. Okay, right, so we'll go this way then, shall we? Let's have a look what we've got. Anything that strikes our fancy here? Yeah, yeah. It's just, just too exciting, isn't it? Shall we look at, ooh, dual magic. Let's have a look at that one, shall we? I bet that's not a bloody Tetris or anything clone, hey. Well, match three at least. Of some form. Oh yes, look at that. It's Tetris. Well, should I say columns really, because it's, uh, it's colours, isn't it? And how exactly do you change it? Oh, you don't. Oh, that's very bloody old, isn't it? How did we get that? And the buttons seem to turn it round. Which is very, very odd. Hmm. Well, that's not very good, is it? So, once again, we have a broken game. Yeah. These buttons did, these buttons here did absolutely nothing to turn that round. So yeah, broken game. 
What a surprise that a, a filler game would be broken. Right, let's have a look at one more, seeing as we had such a lot of success with that. Should we try Snake? Oh, I bet this is like um, the good old Snake Roy and Snake on the, the Nokia you know, phones back in the day. Let's try it. Let's see if this one actually. Oh my god, this is made by Art Games itself. In 2000, and whatever the hell that is, 6 or whatever, 8. 8. Oh my god, do you really want to do this? Oh well, here we go. Hmm, this is very exciting, isn't it? Hmm. Oh my god, that music is atrocious. Oh, no. It's like a how to tune music box. Oh, please, no. In a minute, an evil doll is going to appear and stab you in the heels. Oh, no, that's horrible. Can't, I, I, sorry, I just can't listen to that. that. That was one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. Right. Deary me. Whack a wolf. That wouldn't happen to be whack a mole, would it? Do you have look? Go on then. Last one. As you can see at the moment, these filler games are just bloody atrocious again. Yeah. Why anybody want to? I don't know. And they've all got different buttons for starting. And oh. Okay, so how are you supposed to do this and like that, is it? I don't know. Hmm. Um, this is very odd. Ah, right, okay, I got it now. Oh, I just hit her. No, no, hit red, no, red riding hood on the head. Oh, well. Never mind. Oh. Yeah, this, this is bloody um, boring, isn't it? Pop goes the weasel. It's not a weasel, it's a wolf. I'll tell you what, we'll take a look at a, another one of the Sega ones and, uh, and then we'll uh, have my final thoughts on the matter, shall we? Mm. Let's take a look at um, Alex Kidd in the uh, Enchanted Castle, whatever it's called, isn't it? Yeah, Enchanted Castle. I actually quite like this game, you know, um, a lot of people slagged it off because it wasn't as good as the previous Alex Kidd games, but I don't mind it. But I've got a funny feeling that I ain't going to like the sound. Let's have a look. Come on, you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's not quite right again. No, definitely not. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my dear God. No, that is not how it's supposed to sound. Okay, then, here we go. Oh, that sounds awful. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, it's a bit laggy again. I'm not going to go in this shop right now. What's the point? Right, here we go. Let's click that point. And... Alright, let's see. Oh dear me. Oh, I'm just going to have to pause a minute. Sorry about that, people. I just had to check something there. They're using, on this... I don't know whether this is a ROM hack or what, but this is the music from the original Alex the Kid, and I'm bloody sure it's not in the Enchanted Cars. But whatever. Let's carry on. Oh. Mind you, he's probably doing that because he heard the bloody soundtrack, didn't he? Oh, what a... Yeah. Let's just get this over with, shall we? <laughs> oh, let's stop. Let's stop. 
Right. Okay. Here's my final thoughts. Let's turn this bloody thing off. Right. I think you can tell by that. I'll tell you what, you know, the build quality of this thing is pretty good. It's got a nice weight. As I said, the materials used on it aren't bad at all. The D pad could be better, but it actually plays better than it looks. The action buttons are nice and clicky. Stop and so this sorry start and select and all that. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, all the buttons are fine. Oh, it's a bloody OS, isn't it? That's where you begin. The awful layout of Firecore. And then it got its biggest Achilles heel of all. The sound. The sound is absolutely atrocious. Some of the games mm, you don't notice so much unless you know the game very well. But there's just no excuse for it. At games have been at this for about 10 years. And they still can't get it right. All the other reviews that you've seen of that game products, they're absolutely correct. They just can't get it right. And I'm so, so, so glad that they're not getting their hands on the, uh, what we call the Mega Drive Mini here, or the Sega Genesis Mini in America. And I'm so glad they're not getting their bloody hands on it. I really am. Oh, dear me. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, again, should you buy it? For the SD card slot, yeah, that does sway you a bit, doesn't it? But there's better ways of playing games out there, you know. Unless you're a collector like me, <coughs> excuse me, and you just want it in your collection, no, don't buy it. Absolutely not. You know, yeah, it's it's a nice enough little machine and what have you, but what it does, once you turn the bloody thing on, no, don't buy it. Don't buy it at all. Not unless you're a collector. Because the box is deceiving. The box is a lovely looking thing. You're deceived because you don't see the at game symbol until you get to the manual. Which it just goes to show, doesn't it, that they're actually embarrassed of their own company. That they haven't put it anywhere on the box. It's nowhere on the bloody machine. Nowhere. Nowhere to be seen. Only on that instruction book. So yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on the matter. Don't buy it. Okay, I <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you again soon. If you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that gubbins. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.